Hello Leo and welcome to your December 2022 singles love reading. Leo this is a general reading and won't resonate with all of you so please take what resonates. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs or other sign placements to see if there's more clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you if you are looking for that. Leo this is a singles love reading so you could be you know single for a long time maybe newly single maybe never been in a relationship right or you just may be feeling like um, maybe you want to dip your toe back in the water but you don't really know uh, what's out there or how to go about it or just to kind of get a general feel of where you're at in December 2022 so again it's general so take what you re resonates and leave the rest if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Rudy this is force for the trees I appreciate you all being here if you are returning welcome back thank you all for your time and energy all right guys we are starting out the reading with the main card and that's abundance abundance in all things abundance in all things this card goes beautifully with the know that it is done it's a transformation energy right it's the butterfly into the or the caterpillar into the chrysalis into the butterfly it is coming through a hard time because you know whatever that butterfly had to go through in that chrysalis or that caterpillar had to go through in the chrysalis to be the butterfly probably was an ooey gooey mess right but it brought you know it brings abundance and you see abundance in all things you see beauty in all things right you just see this sense of awe and wonder I also feel that you when you ask for something or you put something out to the universe you have to know it is done you have to know it will come to you you can't just um, kind of like be checking your email every day you know did they get it did they get it did they get it did they get it because you're growing you're learning you're like attracts like you want abundance be abundant right be abundant act as if it is done know that it is done and act that way right act that way our two side cards are radiate and acceptance I just feel that when you accept yourself and love yourself you will radiate that to others you will you'll be sending out like a signal or a beacon or whatever to others that you know that's the kind of energy that you want to attract the radiant energy you want it to come back into you the acceptance you accept yourself for who you are what you are and how you were raised or how you were brought up or how you are acting have acceptance for all of that and then move forward with it you know if there's things you can change change if there's not don't but accept don't try to hide from don't try to um, point fingers or blame others if it's responsibility accept the responsibility and move forward with it and now what can we do now what we can now how we can how can we fix this kind of energy right you start out with the knight of wands the death card and then you have the page of wands I feel like um, oh Leo I feel like you're coming out of the gate really fast um, the the wands are you Aries Leo Sagittarius energy right I feel like you're coming out of the gate really quick uh, you could maybe be on dating apps you could be you know hey tell all your friends I'm single tell all your friends I'm looking all the things you're you might not be finished doing your inner work I guess is what I'm trying to say in a nice way you might have some more work that you need to do on yourself in order to move yourself forward um, because you have the the knight of wands and then you go to the page of wands I'm just feeling that if you don't finish what you started on the work on yourself you might attract somebody that is not um, mature enough for you and I don't mean they could be I mean they can be younger than you but I just mean their maturity level and I feel like you might feel like you're settling
the death card is a transformation card and that's kind of what I feel that whatever you're so passionate about it you just want to again tell everybody but in doing that it might bring in people that uh, almost like you're the, the, kind of like people that you're trying to get away from in the first place I just feel like one step forward you're taking a step back if you don't slow yourself down a little bit and think sometimes the um, the wands you know those those um, the court cards don't don't think they just want to bolt forward they want to take action it's fire energy they want to do it quickly beautiful death card the transformation card right letting go and transforming transforming into what you're supposed to be radiate that love for yourself right radiate that love for yourself I feel like you know again there could be somebody coming in relationship wise but if you're not finished doing the work on yourself that you're just going to take a step back or you're going to go you know hot and heavy with this person and then lose interest really quick We have the world card with the knight of wands. Again, having to, you know, taking that action on moving yourself forward, taking that action on completing um, the task at hand, almost like I feel, or the um, maybe taking the action on uh, closing that chapter of your life of being single tying up all the loose ends so to speak you know the world card is that end of a cycle a completion can also be travel you know maybe you're looking for somebody that is you know maybe you're not looking for like the one maybe you're looking just to have fun and have a good time and maybe that passion and desire it's like yeah I can do that I can go around running around traveling and doing all the things maybe you're not ready to settle down yet but with all the work you're doing on yourself I almost feel like you are I almost feel like you're looking for a long term you have death and strength you know it takes courage and strength to change it takes courage and strength to transform it takes courage and strength to stand your ground you know with the radiate and the acceptance you know what's that serenity prayer like let me change the things I can do and, and know the difference and what that I can't I don't know and uh, change the things I can change and and accept the things I can't change and know the difference But putting the work in you're putting the work in you're putting in the backbone to that trans it's like this is central to the reading you are changing you are transforming you're not the same person you were back then you could have had a backsliding moment you could have had a a, a moment where you acted like somebody from the past or acted like somebody like you used to and you caught yourself And the more you do, the stronger you get. We have the Page of Wands and then the King of Cups. Again, knowing that that energy of um, immaturity and inexperience is maybe not what you're looking for wholly. Maybe you're looking for the love and the romance and the um, somebody that is, is emotionally stable and emotionally secure and 
and isn't afraid to show their feelings. You know? But yeah, you like the beauty in things. And maybe that this person is, you know, the romantic that can tell you how beautiful you are and how wonderful you are and all the things that you love to hear and that, you know, maybe you go to art galleries and you see the beauty in things. Stroke your lion mane, so to speak. But then you have to look at fire and water. Hmm. Could be an older person. This could be even an aspect of yourself where you're learning from this person. Hmm. You'll have to let me know. I'm very interested. Because you have this one hand that, you know, you you want this uh, change, and then you you. I almost feel like you are. Um, kind of toying with the oh well, I can still. I could still date somebody even if I'm in a. In a serious relationship you know what I mean like you're talking yourself into things that you know not to be talking yourself into that could be where the you know take your time on something because don't rush into it when if you rush into it, it can burn out really quickly But be clear on your intentions because when you put it out there, know that it will be. The Empress card is subconscious. First and foremost, know that it can be a sign of pregnancy. So if you're looking to have a baby, then that's a possibility. If you're not, then you know what to do. Um, it's a card of creation. It's a card of creating. It's a card of growth. It's a card of abundance. nature, loving outdoors, being part of, feeling, um, feeling the growth, feeling the change of the seasons and the, you know, the Christmas, all the Christmas, all the, all the things, the growth, the change in the seasons, the, the coolness in the air, the breeze, knowing when things are going to happen, just having this really, um, in one, this pulse with nature. Overseeing your self as far as where you want to go and maybe how you want to get there. You know, the Emperor is taking charge. I also feel like whatever person you're attracting, you want them to come to you. You want to draw them to your world. Not that there's anything wrong with their world, but you want to draw them into your world. What I feel is that you want them to have the same interests that you have. You could maybe have the outdoors. You could maybe have the appreciation to go to art galleries and and, you know, finding beauty in odd places. Looking for that like-minded um, you know, difference maybe that most people wouldn't get. Looking for somebody that gets you in that sense. But you're growing, you're evolving with that strength card. All right, we have the world and, I'm going to pull a clarifier, the world and the knight of wands. The devil. Yeah, 
that's kind of what I said about, you know, being, being careful not to go back to what you were accustomed to or what you were used to or the way you were used to being treated in the past. Don't go back to it. Don't backslide. Don't let somebody control you. Control yourself. Remember I said it's like you're doing so good you want something and then you go back and go, oh, I can still see these five people while I date this one or whatever. Don't give in to it. Devil's a card of Capricorn. Constraints. Um, you know, controlling, being controlled, having somebody control you, controlling somebody. Obstacles from the past coming up. Temptations. Lies. Don't give in to it. You've put so much to rest and you're so strong. Don't give in to it. Strength and death. The Nine of Wands. Well, that gives me hope. It just shows that you are... You're holding steady. You're holding your boundaries. You're holding. Um, you're holding the devil at bay. You're holding that back. You're you're gonna fight to hold that back. You're gonna fight to uh, continue to be who you are now. You're gonna continue to fight because it's on the death and the strength card. So it's like you're stronger than you were back in the past. You're stronger than you are weaker. And you will continue to fight and you're going to continue to um, stand up for your beliefs and your passions and, and yourself. King of Cups and the Page of Wands. Strength again. There you go. I think this relationship, if this person comes in, this King of Cups... I think it's going, if they're not the the good match for you, I think it's going to give you strength. It's going to give you that confidence that you need. It's another strength card. Beautiful. Inwardly and outwardly projecting it. Growing into this person. Even though you could be a male watching this, the Empress is still that creativity, that growth, and that grounded energy. Feeling confident, feeling secure in your own skin. Loving yourself. Loving yourself, acceptance and radiating it. Alright, we're going to pull one more card for you guys. For Leo, for December. Singles journey. Is that one card? It feels like two. Moving on, right? Um, I just see that anywhere you go, any where, whoever you meet, wherever you go, if you travel, because a world card could be a journey card, it can bring you balance, it can bring you peace, and it can bring you adventures, new starts, new beginnings. We'll see what the book says on that, though. It says... Movement, relocation, and travel. I don't think I got relocation cards, but that's okay, because it could be... The world card can be a card to travel. Um... Could be a vacation or a retreat also. Uh, it can indicate that plans should go off without a hitch. Still be clear about your motivations and mindful of logistics. And that could be the Nine of Wands easily. All of life is a journey and this card is telling you that you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. With the devil popping up, just be careful that everyone's on the up and up. Um, be careful of whatever tendencies that you have as 
in the past that they're not repeated. Again, you're growing stronger. You're, you're letting go of a lot of baggage and you're moving forward beautifully. So good luck to you, Leo. Let me know how this resonates. I would love to hear from you. Again, you have the King of Cups. You have that Knight of uh, Swords, or sorry, the Knight of Wands energy, the passion, desire. Just be careful. That can burn out really quick if you let it. If you give into it, it could be where the Devil card is too. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. Leo, if you're interested, I put out mid-month readings uh, about the 15th to the 17th of every month. They are for health, love, career, and finance. Check that out. You can go back on the videos and look at mid-November uh, to mid-December. It's still viable. See if that resonates. If it does, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I put out. Um, you feel free to give this a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. I would love to hear if it, you know, hit some points, touch some bases, or whatever. Um, but take care of yourself. Be blessed. Stay safe. Until next year. I can't believe I'm saying that. Oh my gosh. Bye for now.